ऑल बजर्स रेडी यस मिस्टर हमजा इफ यू वुड बी अराउंड फॉर द ऑडियंस प्राइजेस आई वुड वेलकम इट वी हैव ऑडियंस क्वेश्चंस सो द वाउचर्स विल बी यूज्ड नाउ द सेम ऑडियंस वाउचर्स फॉर ऑडियंस प्राइजेस बिफोर यस नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सो टीम्स दिस इज योर फर्स्ट राउंड पे अटेंशन यू हैव अ क्रॉस वर्ड द फॉर्मेट फॉर द एंटायर क्वेज रन ऑन थ्री लेवल्स ओके यू हैव वॉट इज कॉल्ड द फर्स्ट स्ट्राइक ऑन द बजर ओनली वन दिस इज अ कॉमन बजर ओनली वन बजर लाइट्स अप द फास्टेस्ट वन all right so for the fastest team buzzing they get to answer on a piece of paper write it down you have the format in front of you look at your sheets i have given enough space for the crossword answers for the next round answers don't scribble anywhere you like that will help us keep a track of the scores so write in the space provided if you want to do a first strike on the buzzer once the buzzer is done i'll close the buzzers you can have rough papers for rough work but in the final sheet your final answer should be there all right i'll not be searching for the answers again the question number write the answer down all right the next level is one team gets a chance to buzz after that all the other teams can raise their hands grab my attention pounce and write the answer down after that i come back to team number 1 if say it was their question and they can answer on a direct or a pass this time in the mic So if you guys can make sense of it every single question can be answered by every team here all right you can out buzz the others you can pounce but when i say i close the pounce you can't pounce after that there's a small window of 10 seconds i'll give you to pounce once i close the pounce i will go to that team whose question it is and they will speak in the mic all right so first two levels first strike and pounce is to be written down after that direct or pass no negatives so you can freely guess on the mic like i encouraged you this quiz i've set with lots of clues for you to work out it's not memory based all right you have to read the question understand the facts put them together just like how you diagnose medicine is a puzzle and the entire quiz is set in that format for you to get used to what medicine is like so with that if the negatives are clear let me warn you of two things one two warnings to all of you there's a negative marking for answering out of turn if you're buzzing you're out of turn right pouncing out of turn there's a negative marking there so you lose you lose out the questions aren't aren't too simple it's not like the prelims you are the best teams out here so the questions get a bit more complicated there could be more than one part to the answer a b and c if you know only a and you buzz you get minus 10 so answer if you know only the complete answer give me all the parts on the pounce or first strike on the direct or pass you can give me whatever you know when you can have fun let's crack jokes that i don't mind but on the pounce or first strike i want the complete answer for points otherwise it's straight flat negatives i'll not be generous here unlike the prelims you are the best you're competing here in the finals yeah so this round i'll pass clockwise is it all clear can we proceed let's have the next slide so this is your crossword so let me tell you it's all open i didn't start the quiz those clues there are pointers to the question so all of you can choose what you want i'll click on that and then we get the question so these are not questions these are clues for the questions themselves so all of you see this is right now the key, the buzzword today's choice all of you get a choice to pick the question from the title clue there once i click that we get the question and then you get to answer it it will be open on the buzzer and on the pounce and i think uh, audience deserves the first question don't they so uh, mr hamza if he's ready if you have a volunteer ready with the mic in the audience shubha yeah, yeah. who is with the audience mic krishna kant is here can you join mr hamza krishna kant meet mr hamza and uh, let me think if my teammate here ashrit is ready uh i think audience if i open six down that will give the other teams two letters to work with all right so let me go for uh, six down let's click clinical circles there's an image in front of you and the question is so william osler the great physician and the father of modern medicine as our medicine professor will tell us 
was a Canadian physician and the founding father of Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore, the very famous, world famous Johns Hopkins. He also was the first one to create a residency program for training physicians. And he was the first to bring medical students out of the lecture hall for bedside clinical training. So all our postings in the ward, in the hospital. Yeah, audience, I request you all to be very, very quiet. The teams on stage cannot, cannot hear it clearly. So the question for the audience is, he was the first one to initiate bedside clinical training in this particular ward. His, he has one more nominal contribution to the world of medicine. It was the consequence of this particular ward bedside training with his students. It was, at, as you can see, it is about circular in shape. The topic was clinical circles. We have a central pillar and beds all around. And Dr. Osler went about with the students doing bedside clinical training. I have one hand up there. Is that uh, who I know it is? It is. That's a former finalist, uh, Ifra. Can we have the mic for Ifra? Uh, this is rounds, clinical rounds. What? Rounds. What rounds? Clinical rounds. Can you explain? So that's how they used to move around the bedside, and that's the circle, and that's how the word clinical That's a brilliant came answer there. Can we have a prize for her? The common word we all use for rounds in a morning hospital rounds comes from Dr. William Osler, the first great teacher of medicine in the modern world. He used to go around the wards, and that's how all of us today use the word rounds for what we do. A very good answer there. It's for the finals worthy question, and I think all of you have learned why you go for rounds in the morning. So that's what Osmocon will teach you. Let's click that. All the teams, you have two letters opening. Team number. Are the rules clear, teams? Can we, can we start? Any questions? If you have doubts, you can ask. All right, mic's on. Use the mic and ask me what you want to ask. Don't switch off the mics at any point of time. I'm requesting you all. My voice is not clear. Uh, teams, is it better this way? Are you all able to make out what I'm saying? There's too much of echo, is, is it? Let me try one of these mics. Uh, let me check this. Is this better, teams? Uh, Roshita, is this better? All right, so I'll give you guys my mic and I'll use this mic. So my team, mic number 15, that's with me. So teams, Rushita, check the mic. Say something. Yes. She's fine, she's doing well. Let's check the mic of team number six till then. All the teams have a good look at your clues. Team number one, it'll be your turn first to pick a question. We'll click that, the question appears, open on the buzzer, then pounce, and then direct and pass. Fine, you guys set the mic. We'll go to the first question. We'll give you the other mic to share with, all right? Teams ready? Ashrit ready? Any more doubts? Is this voice better, Rashita? All right. Team number one, doxycycline. Ashwarya Dhira, Jasmania. Elementary, my dear. One team has buzzed. And uh, I, team number two, don't use the mic. Use your paper. I gave you a prelims sheet. It's open on the pounds. Question number one. Question number one. Write your answer in the question number Four, right in that space. Okay, all right. All of you write in question number one space, all right? So I'm checking your answer. No more time on the buzzer. Reset the buzzer. And uh, I'm closing the pounds in three, two, and one. So team one, take your mic and tell me what you think this answer is. What is 
this iodin is perfectly right they get 10 points scorers both of you question 1 right iodin team 1 gets plus 10 team 2 gets plus 15 and team 4 gets plus 10 so that's how it works click the question back the question yes yes so you have two more clues opening team number 2 what do you want to go for Hello, hello, Adi. Really? Loose connection. After what happened in the prelims? You will have anatomy? Hello. You will have anatomy, Shiva. Okay. Uh, question, please. So, the question is the word refer to refer used to refer to hello. that particular hello. part marked down. Hello, 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 hello. And the word is the same to refer to what I have blanked there. Since no one is answering, I'll give more clues. The hello. The pouch is open. The confluence of eight facial muscles in the face is very important for expression. It has a name. The same name goes to the axis on which the hello, 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 hello. What hello. is the word? And you have the clues on the crossword. Pouch is still open. I'll close the pouch in three, two, and do you want to pounce? You have to raise your hand now. Buzzing is only once. They have buzzed. No. Raise your hand. Raise it. And write the answer. I told you. On the pounce, you write the answer down. So two teams. You can't pounce after I close the pounce. Rushita huh? and team. They pounce at the same time. All right. So always keep your hands raised. I must see it. Did you pounce? So raise the hand. It must be raised all the time. You are just sitting freely, right? Raise your hand all the time. Raise your hand, doctor. It's okay. You are a team. He'll write the answer down. That's why I raise your hand. You understand the logic? If your hand is down, hello, how will hello, I know Hello, pounce? hello, hello. Hello. Okay, so we have teams. Hello. Uh, five, seven, eight pouncing. Team who buzzed? One buzzed. Team two, it's your direct. Yes, now we can start on the mic. It's modulus. Modulus is perfectly right. Team two loves their anatomy. Details, that is right. Let's see. Yes, it is modulus. So the scores, scorers, they had buzzed. Team one gets plus 15. Team two gets plus 10. Team four gets, team five gets plus 10. Team seven gets plus 10. And team eight gets a minus five. Scorers, both of you are with me, both the teams. For each question, make sure you write it very clearly. So. Now, team number three. Let's be quick Hello. now. You have a mic Hello. there, and it's there for a purpose, dear team three. Uh, body extremes. Body extremes. Let's have the question. On the buzzer. Three, two. All right. Longest tendon in the human body. Write your answer and keep your hand raised. Teams pouncing can pounce. Only five has pounced. Three, two, and one. I close the pounce. Please hit the buzzer. Charan. Okay, so we have seen their answers. Team three, it's your direct. Now you can take your guess safely. I close the pounce. You must be quick. It's a very short question. Team three. Mike, and your answer? Plantar. Plantar S is right. So we have everyone opening their accounts. It's Plantaris. The team who had buzzed was team number team number seven had buzzed. So scorers they get plus fifteen. Team number five gets a minus five. And of course, like team three answered, they get plus ten. So question to team number four: What do you go with? Team four. You have a mic. Bloody differential. Bloody differential. Question please. What is the technique in which a particular component is removed from the blood of the donor and the rest returned to the body? This separated component can be used for specific donations like plasma or only RBC. What is the technique? You have the crossword there to help you. Team number four has buzzed for their own question. The pounce is open, so teams one. 
and seven have pounced. I close the pounds in three, two, and one. So you have to fill in the blanks. And this question was, it was eight across. It was, was it eight across? It was eight down, sorry, eight down. So you have the number of letters there. All right, so we'll go to question uh, to team five on the pass. Use the mic and give me your answer. What word fits there? Eight down. It's your, because they have pounced. Your question, what's your guess? Plasma pheresis. But plasma pheresis. Is it fitting there? I think I'll give it to you on that. It is apheresis. Plasma pheresis is a type of apheresis. So I'll give it for plasma pheresis this time. But teams, be specific. This is the first instance of it happening. I want specific answers. The crossword is limited, all right? So team five gets plus 10. Team four gets plus 15. Team one gets plus 10. Team seven, minus five. Scorers, I'm being slow. You're all following with me? Yeah. Question for team number five. What's your pick? Dr. Google. Oh, really? The worst doctor ever. Let's have a look. I'll close the buzzer. I'll close it. Okay. It's done. Write your answer down, doctors. Pounce. The pounce is open. I close the pounce. Only teams two and four have pounced. I close the pounce in three, two, and one. Reset the buzzer. Team five, hold on, hold on. You've checked, I've checked here. Team five, yes, go on the mic. We passed the question. Take a guess, guys. Okay, it's your direct, so I'll give you a clue. This is a Greek doctor. So, if you know how, is, how Greek names sound, his name is quite Greek in the way it is. You have a particular element in the Google Doodle there that is very specific for what he contributed to medicine. Yes, there's a light bulb going. Papa Nicolo. Papa Nicolo is right. That's how guessing works in quizzing. Team 5 gets a back to back plus 10. All right. Team 8 gets plus 15. And. Team 2 plus 10. Team 4 plus 10. Question to team number 6. What do you pick? Guys, quick. Use the mic. 7 terms and conditions. Terms and conditions. Let's have a look. Simple question. What is the study of classification of diseases? You have passed on your own question. That's very brave of you. Write the answer down, guys. Pounce is closing in three, two. Only team three is pouncing. I close the pounce in three, two, and one. Only team three is pouncing. Raise your hand. Other person is not writing. Just won't sit. So team six, that was your question. Where's your answer? Uh, reset the buzzers. Yes, team six. Pass. Pass, okay. Team seven. Don't switch off the mic ever. Pass. Wow, that's not right. Etiology. Yes, etiology, not quite. That is the study of causes of diseases. The causes, not classification of diseases itself. Team one. Nosology, not the study of noses. They get plus 10. Nosology is the study of classifying diseases. So you have the whole ICD classification that is a part of nosology. Team one gets plus 10. Team five scorers get a minus 10. So team five, Rushita and Yasina, 
you will lose negatives if you buzz and get the wrong answer. Minus 10 for team 5. Who else bounced? Who had bounced for this question? Team number 3. Team number 3, minus 5. So don't bounce and buzz and get negatives, guys. It's early in the quiz. Team number 7. What's your pick? Eyes wide shut. Eyes wide shut. Not to be confused with uh, PH3, a gas, COCl2, a gas. What is the phenomenon of seeing light without it actually entering the eye called? Commonly caused by rubbing the eyes, it is experienced as seeing stars from a sneeze, a heavy cough, a blow on the head, or standing too quickly. Open on the bounce. Teams, I want a very specific answer here. The spelling is important. On the pounds, the spelling is important, I told just now. On the pounds, it is, who is this pouncing, Gurtuza? So raise your hand, no? Okay, team number seven, I close the pounds. Audience, a small activity for you, all of you. Close your eyes, tightly, close your eyes tightly. Rub your eyes with your hands. Rub your eyes with your hands. Right, do you see some starry kind of a sensation, right? Don't you see that? Do you or not? There's something you see, actually, after closing eyes. That is what I'm asking. Now, why that happens is, you have, when you cough, when you rub your eyes, there is physical, mechanical stimulation of your retinal cells. And that causes this firing. So the seeing stars that you have when you close your eyes and when you go giddy, is this particular misfiring of your retinal cells. So, pounds was closed. I said spe spelling is important. What's your answer? Yeah, it was your question. You pounced for your own question. You could have waited. I told you don't get negatives unnecessarily. This is the first time it happened. I'll give you a chance. It's your direct. If, you're, it's, if it's your direct, and if you pounce on your direct, you risk getting a negative. You anyway get the question directly, right? Take your mic. Photopsia. Photopsia is not right. Pass. Pass. Passing. Team one, you had pounced. What did you? Team three, Mike. Pass. Four. Phospho genes. Phospho. Genes. Why do you say phospho genes? I just know. No. It's a guess. Wild guess. It's a wild guess. Phospho yes, genes. Yes. Yes. That is not the right answer. Yes. Someone there, come forward. Uh, Srikant. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Guys, hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, team seven, uh, six, yeah. Pass. You're passing anyway. I think I've go gone through all the finals. Yes, that particular person there, he is very enthusiastic. Your name, your college, and I want the exact answer with the spelling. Uh. My name is Mohammad Jawad. I am from Deccan Medical College, 2K15 match. And the answer is phosphine. P H O S P H E N E. That is the. Is it? Let's have a look at the answer. I heard what you said, how you spelled it. P H O was right, S was right, T is right, H is right, E is right, N is right, E is right. That is the right answer. Let's have a prize, Mr. Hamza, for Jawad. So, uh, yeah, click this particular question yes so let me tell you the gas there was phosgene the other gas was phosphine p h i n e e n e is what you see when you're when you rub your eyes in the seeing stars phenomenon team 8 you have a very big choice in front of you what do you want to choose yes that's the correct question teams i'll do that after this question in ancient Greece, this referred to the delicious side dish of any meal as against sitos or the staple of the meal. What term in medicine comes from this? I'll give the scores after this question. I've missed it. It's all right. On the buzzer, there's no one going for it. I close the buzzer. Pounces, three, 
two and one, I stop. Teammate. So let me explain the question to you. So see, you have the main dish, sitos. You have something else, that was the side dish. So, so even in the body, this phenomenon or this term refers to something that enhances something else. Like an appetizer, the side dish enhances the food taste. What in the world of medicine gets its name from this word? Teammate, what's your guess? Yes, uh, teammate, quick. Your guess? Do we tell the answer? Yeah, please tell the answer. Optionization. Optionization. And what, the, what does that mean? To enhance the taste of something. Enhance the taste of something in medicine? Yeah, I mean. In, in medicine, what is optionization? Like antibodies grow and bind and make it more suitable. Give them 10 points. <laughs> so, opson was the side dish. And optionization is when you have all these opsonins that make the microbes a good target for macrophages to digest them. So it en enhances the taste of microbes for the macrophages. Very good answer, teammate. And with that, we come to the end of this round. Scorers, total of the scores, come and tell the score. Yes, now we'll tell the points. For the previous question, team one gets minus five for the previous question. Team two gets a zero for that question, so no points for them. Team five gets a minus five for the previous question. For this question, uh, for this question, only team eight gets plus ten. Okay, scorers, one revision. For the previous question, I told you team five gets minus five. Pay attention, they get a plus ten. It was a mistake. They got it right. Previous question, team 5 gets plus 10. Total up the scores. Bring them to our teammate, Murtaza. Just check with the scoring. And coordinate with these guys. Meanwhile, we'll go to the next slide. And freeze it there. Ashrit, next slide on this laptop. Scores, we'll total them up, teams. Next slide. Audience, a question for you. So a recent journal article in scientific reports showed a greater incidence of exhaustosis or an enlarged protuberance. There's one hand already up there. That, could you stand up? Yes. Can we have the mic there, please? So basically, this paper said that in young people, because of something, they're having more exhaustosis. So what did they attribute this to in young people? But then, of course, when you look at research, and you scrutinize the papers and the journals, a lot of loopholes, a very small sample size, and inaccurate interpretation of the data. So it was not found to be true. But then the media loves anything that is not true about doctors. And this made the headlines in all big papers. So what is the answer? Your name and college first. I'm Aspya from Deccan Medical College, Bash 2K16. Uh, they attributed this to long hours spent on mobile phones, gaming, and watching videos. That is the right answer. Can we have a prize for our answer? Good answer there. So this was attributed to the use of a lot of smartphones. And that is how it is reported as study says. So my big advice to you is when you look at media reports about medical facts, 
when you see the words study says never trust the media report go back to the original paper make a habit of reading research articles because in practice when you have a new drug coming when your patients your relatives ask you for referring or ask you for your inputs about anything medical you will have to look into research papers so make it a habit to read journals at least access them online and try to see where they go wrong because a lot of research is financed by and funded by the pharma industry and this industrial funding causes a lot of conflict of interest which means some of it will not be medically or scientifically accurate it will be more business oriented and inaccurate that, that's my message for you for this question let's have a look at the scores if it's ready yes uh, scorers all the 18 on stage the first round is done now the bulk of the quiz will begin once you have the scores on screen so let's see how the standings are can we have uh, the slide show mode so team 1 true to their form are leading the quiz at this point with 40 points <laughs> team 2 with 25 It's still early days. Team three five points. Team four fifty thirty five points. They're right behind. Team five twenty five with lots of negatives. They're still back in the game. That's good. Squizbees have to open their account. Hindu Muslim bhai bhai. They're on twenty. Unit six oh six on twenty again. So guys, it's early days. There's a long quiz to follow. We have two different scoring teams. Any discrepancy anywhere? Team two is thirty-five. Are you? Let's go back. You got a negative somewhere, did you? What are your answers? So team two is thirty-five. Guys, track your own score. Yeah. So we have a very close fight right now, but it's early days, guys. Next slide. Uh, when back to the PPT. So now, just like last year, all the teams pay attention. We have what I call a quiz palette. So basically, you have like the crossword, twenty-four blocks on the screen, like a palette, with clues for the questions. All of you get to choose which block you want to open. We click that, and a question appears. The rules are the same. A first strike. Plus fifteen, minus ten. Be careful on the buzzers. If you have the full answer, only then buzz. Blind buzzing gets you negatives. And team five is nodding their head. They know that. Yeah. And then a pounce with another negative of minus five. Both of these are to be written down. Then we go for direct or pass. There are twenty-four questions on the grid. First eight in the same clockwise fashion. Let's have the quiz palette. Yes, all of you, take a good look. and i want you all to pay attention these clues give you clues to the question or to the answer in some way or the other could be cryptic could be direct the ones at the bottom are not for you they are audience questions aqs okay the ones at the bottom are audience questions aqs don't choose them rest of it is all open for you and that's my set of puns for the day So let's see if the teams can figure out why I've called each block that particular name. Like I said, the world of medicine, as future doctors, there are a lot of choices we have to make. Choice making is an integral part of our profession, and I think that's what is reflected in our format as well. Clockwise, team number one. No more time. What's your pick? mind games and i'm not surprised at all in 1892 while he was doing military service as a student this guy called hans berger met with an accident while riding his sister who was 100 kilometers away keep the mic away was 100 kilometers away had an intense premonition that something is wrong and she sent her a telegram him a telegram immediately to make sure he was okay Now Berger was stunned. Okay, how could this happen? Convinced this was an example of telepathy, 
he decided to take up psychiatry as a career. Now his main aim was to discover the cause of this psychic energy. He went on to invent a technique which scientists dismissed initially. I have a picture in the next slide. Next slide only, yes. This is what he came up with. So this is how something entered the world of medicine, first dismissed by scientists as impossible, and now something that we all know. Since no team is buzzing, I close the buzzers. Any team wants to pounce, they can pounce. No team pouncing, I close the pounce. Done. Team one, take the mic. The future neurologist, neuroscientist who is very interested. Let me play mind games with you. Yes, team one. Any question that does not get answered here goes to that student there with his hands raised. Who already won a prize, did you? All right. 